the Canon R6, 120 frames per second. Is it good enough for professional work? I absolutely love this camera. The R6 has been a game changer for me for the price point, all the features that it has, and I love using this camera. I shoot with it all the time. I'm shooting on it right now. But let me tell you why I switched and upgraded from the R to the R6. It was not because of the 4K. It wasn't because of 10-bit even, and it wasn't even because of the C-Log. The reason I upgraded this camera is because of the 120 frames per second. That is something I have absolutely been obsessed with since I picked up a camera. And when Canon announced that, I was like, man, that's crazy for the price point. They're finally going to do it. They're going to give us a camera that isn't crippled. And I'm really happy that I bought this camera. I've been able to get some really great footage out of this camera. One of the biggest concerns I had was, was 1080 enough? Would people be able to tell uh, if I shot, you know, 4K 60 and put a 1080 120 clip in there, if people would really notice? And I'm gonna tell you, I've shot a lot of footage with this camera and nobody has ever noticed. Nobody has ever said anything to me. And so absolutely, yes, it is good enough for professional work. You do not lose autofocus. You have 10-bit colors, you have C-Log, C-Log 3 now, all that in 120 frames per second in a camera for under $2,500 from Canon. That's great, and it's full frame. I will say that one area this camera struggles with when you're shooting 120 frames per second is in low light. When you bump up that shutter speed, it's easy to underexpose this footage and be a little dark. When you're shooting in low light situations, if you're not careful, you're gonna get a lot of artifacts and some grain in your footage. So you really need to take this camera out, practice exposing it properly. I would say overexpose a little bit. This camera does a really good job at recovering the image when you overexpose. And that's really the only flaw that I found. Other than that, I've been really, really happy with this camera. I've never had anybody ask me if I shot that in 4K or 1080p. Definitely, definitely worth the money. I think Canon did a great job, and this camera is extremely underrated. So if you're looking to upgrade some of your equipment and you're a Canon shooter, definitely check out the R6. The 120 is amazing. I love it. So make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.